Okay, so today, guys, I bring you 10 secret items across the world of Redfall with that first map, Redfall Commons. We have items consisting of full body outfits, individual pieces of gear like backpacks and headwear, as well as stakes and legendos. Today, we're getting to it all. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ, and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So, a little bit of information in regards to cosmetic items you get in this game like costumes and things like this they are tied to missions and side missions that you do now from my understanding is it doesn't matter what order you do certain missions in or side missions let's say for instance you do eight side missions and two main quest missions no matter what order you do them in you will always be rewarded at the end of said mission tied to that in particular number that said reward but there are guys guaranteed drops and guaranteed rewards you can go around the map and find and pick up for your character now these are completely different for each individual hero so what you'll see me pick up here today on jacob won't be the same for you if you come to said location with the vinda in regards to cosmetic gear items for your character okay so we'll actually start with those cosmetic outfits and there are two for you to get today now as you know there are five safe houses across this map of redfall commons now when you unlock each individual safe house there are actually two side missions you can do inside these safe houses now the second side mission across all five safe houses within redfall commons is for you to hunt down and kill a vampire underboss upon you doing this guys you are rewarded at vampire underboss school therefore there are five of these schools for you to collect across redfall commons now three of these are needed for the hollow man main story mission to progress you onto the second map this means you have two spare at least two spare you can use in two different school altars now a word of warning you need to keep three otherwise you won't be able to progress onto the second map i made a mistake which i'll explain to you so you don't make the same mistake basically what i did was i used my two spare schools keeping my three on me I used in my friend's lobby. I got my two outfits there. When I come back to my own lobby, I went back to one of these altars and it allowed me to place another school. So I did it, leaving me with only two schools left. Me thinking I'll get another outfit. Well, I didn't get an outfit and it took my school. As far as I'm aware, there are no more uh, vampire under bosses, so I can't get a third school. So when it comes to me doing that Hollow Man main mission, I'm not sure if I'll be able to progress. So don't make that mistake, guys. Okay, so with your schools, these are the locations of the school altars. I mean, you can come to these spots on the map, guys, and grab those cosmetic outfits for your hero. The first location you'll see right here on the map. Come here, guys, place that school and get that outfit. Now the second school altar is right here on the map. Come here guys, again, place it and get that outfit.
Okay, so next up, people, is a guaranteed item. It's a stake, and this will be the same for all heroes. It's a gnome stake. It's absolutely amazing. By far the best I've seen in this game. Now, to get this, guys, come to this point on the map right here. And let's pick this lonely little thing up. Then go into your weapon details and place this on a weapon which already has a stake attached to it. There's a nest close by. I can feel it. Vampires around here are gonna be supercharged until we take it out. Okay, so next up, guys, you have a piece of headwear. Now, for Jacob, this is called the Three Strikes. But for other heroes, it will be different. This is located at the end of this train track, so follow the route I take on screen now and go grab this thing. Next up guys we have a backpack, again this will be completely different for you if you're not playing on Jacob. So come to this point on the map right here people, now there will be a few vampires here for you to take out, follow the route I take up into this house, take out these vampires, grab this out of that bag and you are good to go guys.
bloodsuckers close by will be a pain in the ass until we kill him. Next up, people, we have another headpiece. Now, for me and Jacob, this is called the Rubber Side Down. And other heroes, I'm not sure what this will be. So again, follow the route I take on the screen now, guys, and come and get this thing. Okay, so the four final items in today's video are all guaranteed legendary weapons. Now these can be random, so what you get here is all down to RNG. Now in the total of these four legendary weapon locations, you will need a minimum of four lockpicks as well as one rewire kit. So make sure you have them and then come and get these four legendaries. Very, very simple people. Let's follow the points I take on screen now.
And there we have it guys, 10 secrets across the Redfall Commons map within Redfall. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.